The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're taking a look at the GP1800 from Yamaha. This is all about putting a huge engine in a small and lightweight package. It's speed and adrenaline maximized. When we say huge engine, we mean it. The GP1800 Wave Runner has the 1812cc supercharged four cylinder, four stroke, super vortex high output Yamaha Marine engine, turning a 160 millimeter eight vane high pressure pump with a three blade 16.4 degree pitch stainless steel impeller. In short, it's the most powerful Wave Runner engine available, put into the lightest hull available, based on the most winning non supercharged watercraft being raced. It's designed for closed course racing and experienced high performance enthusiasts. Let's start with a closer look at the engine. It's easily accessed under the removable seat and features a high performance intercooler, increased supercharger air intake capacity and boost, and a modified fuel injection system for increased fuel flow delivery to the engine. And yes, it runs on high octane fuel. It's purpose built for the marine industry and built in house by Yamaha, which means that there's only one phone call to make for warranty items for the Wave Runner or mechanical components, and Yamaha stands behind its products with a one year warranty. Even with its huge size, there's still room enough to work around the engine for daily checks and regular maintenance, all of which translates to reduced costs. Combined with the 160mm pump and the super lightweight Nano XL2 hull and deck, the result is extraordinary power and thrust in an extremely lightweight 769 pound package. Yamaha tells it that this is a power to weight ratio never before seen in a personal watercraft. With an 18.5 gallon fuel capacity, she'll run at 70 miles per hour for just under one hour and mess around at 30 miles per hour for almost four hours, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of fuel. It has a length overall of 131.9 inches and a 48 inch beam. Most notable in her appearance is the overall quality of the workmanship that shows through in her stunning good looks. There's a symmetry and sleek flow that, due to the notable lack of internal ribs, is uninterrupted by any inconsistencies or defects. All of this is dressed in Yamaha's metallic paint and can be ordered in azure blue or torch red. Even though it's designed for experienced riders, we found a level of precision and predictability that even intermediate riders will appreciate. The hull had well-defined strakes, soft bow chines, performance sponsons, and a race-infused keel shape that all combined for a thrilling ride. There's an electric trim function controlled from the left handlebar so we can adjust the ride for best performance in prevailing conditions or even make incremental adjustments for weight distribution of additional riders. Additionally, this performance wave runner is equipped with ride technology, Yamaha's proprietary advanced feature that controls braking, reverse, and neutral select all from the left trigger. Suffice it to say that you're not going to find the limits of the GP1800's performance envelope, but it will find yours. It actually schools you so that the more you ride it, the better you become. Overall, the GP1800 is clearly not for everyone. Beginners need not apply. But for those seeking the utmost in performance in a production watercraft, this is your ride. Frankly, if this doesn't get your blood running, nothing will. It's also feature packed, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. Well, that's my look at the GP1800 from Yamaha. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.